Hi, my name is Simon Vijaya. I am the founder of EdgeDocs.com, the number one resource for everything Edge. Today I want to show you how the latest Adobe Edge Animate CC update improved the workflow for loading external JavaScript files. And that's really handy if you're, for example, using the popular Edge Commons library in your projects to pimp your compositions or to use some parallax features or overlays or stuff like that. So let's see how you can do it in the new version. So let's start with the new project. I'm going to build a simple parallax scrolling feature, but uh, first of all, I want to show you the new script function. So right here in the library, we have a new scripts panel and we can um, click on the plus symbol and now we can add a JavaScript file uh, from disk or from a URL. So we decide to go with the uh, URL version of Edge Commons. So now I need the URL to the Edge Commons uh, CDN content delivery network. Um, so we can simply go to cdn.edgecommons.org and uh, now we see the old um, version. So you have to deal with the yap nope function and it's really uh, kind of uh, kind of heavy stuff you have to do, or I should say you had to do before the new update. So now we can simply um, ch uh, choose the version we want to use. In this case, I'm deciding to take the all-in-one package, uh, which is perfect for demoing. But if you decide to go um, more with the lightweight version, you can, of course, use the core only and uh, just lose, use the, the parallax, for example. So we can simply copy the link address, go back to animate, paste it in there, and now we see this is a, a URL starting with HTTP, and now we just click OK, and now this, um, the library, the Edge Commons, appear in the scripts panel. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So if we now start the composition, we have access to Edge Commons. So to prove that, I will um, build a small parallax website. So let's start with modifying the stage. So we can use, for example, 800 as a width. And since we are, we are going to build a parallax, we need lots of vertical space. So let's use 200 pixels and zoom out to 50% and scroll to the top. So I've prepared some simple assets. I can just uh, drag and drop onto the stage. So for example, we have a badge for the header of our website and then we have uh, three three characters. So we place them outside and now we can use the timeline. to move them onto the stage and the third one and uh, of course this one is the second one this is the first one so this should appear second and this is the last one um, is it the pin and now I have a timeline animation just like this so this is pretty basic animate stuff so to use um, the Edge Commons parallax feature. Now we have to disable the autoplay, and uh, since we have a little bit more room on the on the bottom of the page, um, so we can stretch the the duration of our composition. So we simply add a label right here to, for example, like seven seconds. So the mapping of the timeline to the um, scroll bars of the browser uh, are now perfectly set up. So the last thing we have to do, um, of course, is use the Edge Commons library. As you remember, we added the script, uh, the external Edge Commons script in this panel over here. So now we can use it. So we go to the stage composition ready. And we can use EC, which is the shortcut for Edge Commons. And since we loaded it already, we can uh, Go ahead and use it. So we use parallax.setup 
pass in a reference to the sim. And that's it. And that's really our first initial promise to use edge commons uh, to create a parallax feature with just one single line. And that's uh, really true now with the new release of Edge Animate CC. So we can now go to File Publish in Browser. And when we start scrolling, you will see that the characters appear. And if we scroll up again, they will disappear again, and so on. Yeah, and that's really the way you can use external JavaScript libraries like the Edge Commons to create amazing and engaging content with Edge Animate CC. So if you are interested in more tutorials on Adobe Edge Animate and Edge Reflow and in the Edge Commons extension library, you should definitely check out edgedocs.com. See you there.